Hey, what's up? Dre here, and I am back with Halo 5 Memories of Reach update. Finally working properly. I would have uploaded this a lot earlier, but when the update released, the game was being stupid and wasn't loading everything, and the rack points were broken. But that's all fixed now. So before we start, we got three packs I'm going to open first. These two have nothing to do with Memories of Reach, but I will open them anyway. But first, Memories of Reach update pack. So, let's check this out. Let's get a bunch of goodies. Well, not a bunch. Okay, so here's what it gives us. Two Phaeton Helios, Brute Plasma Rifle, and two Wars of Boosts, which is good. So, the Phaeton Helios. The Phaeton's highly mutable design pattern tempts, to, uh, tempts idle hands to terrible purpose. Superior Phaeton with increased armor and agility. The Phaeton Helios is armed with a homing pulse missiles in rapid fire pods and a chin mounting cleansing beam. That's the first time I've seen them use superior in one of these descriptions. Well, we got two here. And I will try my very best to come up with videos looking, um, well, showcasing these new wrecks over the following days and perhaps week or so. Root Plasma Rifle. Never have I been so anticipated for an uncommon weapon. Newly manufactured Brute Plasma Rifles can continue to appear in the hands of mercenaries and raiders, though their source is unknown. All Brute Plasma Rifles are capable of unleashing a devastating fusillade of plasma bolts between emergency cooling brakes. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so, we got those three things. I would have expected a little more variety, but we got two Phaetons, so I'm happy with that. Next, we have the Needler Pack, which I completed recently. Scarab? That's not an emblem I expected to see of a Needler pack, whatever. And Spartan Reg 115 Officer pack. Probably nothing special, but whatever. Never mind, you actually get an emblem for it. You get a rare emblem called Signal. Whoop you fucking do. Oh, a Mystic. That, that changes everything. Thank you. Thank you very much, game. Alright. So, now we get on to the good stuff. By the way, there's Carter's armor, the Noble. Uh, noble armor and helmet, very nice. Just for this update, though. So, take a look at this. The Memories of Reach Pack. 120,000 rec points, or $15 plus tax depending on where you live. Acquire four times for the full set of armor. Really? You're, you're telling me that I am supposed to buy... Will save up to 420, 4, 420,000, and that's just for the armor. I mean, there's other stuff too, like, you know, George's Mystic Machine Gun, and certifications for other things. You expect me to save up over 420,000 rec points? I don't think so. What you can do, however, is buy gold packs, which are only 10,000, and... I did the math earlier, and you will only need 175,000 rec points to unlock absolutely everything from this update, assuming you had everything beforehand. So without further ado, let's get started. Why am I opening a gold pack now? I should be opening silver. What the fuck is wrong with me? Whatever. We already read that, but we got a certification, and we have... I fucked this up already. Wow. I opened a gold pack at the very beginning. I should not have done that. Whatever. Battle rifle with a threat marker. Standard issue burst fire rifle that can sell any from range threat marker tracks. Targeted enemy personnel for a short time. I have seen what this can do, and I think it's somewhat cheap, but whatever. Prophet's Bane, thank you. Money Mantis, thank you. Okay, so silver packs. Let's start opening with silver packs instead of gold packs right off the bat. I'm fucking retarded. Well, you know, I just woke up, so whatever. Ah, uh, yes, the Azure Dream skin. Oh, by the way, um, with these packs now, what they do is that it'll give you a certification uh, or armor or, or armor piece for the first two slots, and then it'll give you an emblem for the third slot. High chance of an emblem for the third slot, so that's very nice. A good change of things. 
But we have the Azure Dream. Put your boot up some alien backsides. Assault rifle with threat marker, yeah, and the drum. Looks cool. I dig the green. I'm not gonna use it though. I will equip this, however. We'll take a look at everything at the end of the video though. Alright, next silver pack. Azure Dream for the SMG. And we have Wheelman. Armor mod. Any vehicle you are seated in quickly recovers from EMP effects and has increased damage resistance. Damage resistance stacks for each player using Wheelman. Now that's going to be pretty interesting to use. So I guess that's the way to go if you're in a vehicle now. Cool. Warhog drivers are going to love this. That's your dream. UNSC needs every evil body on the line to resist the created. Oh, so they're going to have different descriptions for each camo, even if it's the same camo for each weapon. That's cool. Very creative, 343. As usual, we keep going until we get rec points. Are you fucking kidding me? Really? Really? Halo's broken. I swear to God, it's fucking broken. What could we have gotten from that? Uh... What could we have gotten from that? Probably an emblem, but I don't know which one. Ugh. Hold on a second. No, we did not get an emblem. Oh my gosh, whatever. I think I'll find out later. Right now I'm not really interested, I just want to get this shit over with. Especially since that just happened. Do not complete your purchase at this time, what is this bullshit? Regardless, as your dream for the Magnum and the Battle Rifle, spread hate and discontent among the Covenant and Creed forces. It's all about the glory. Yes, because we totally need more blue camos. We already have enough. Seriously, we have like five already now. Oh, okay. So we have the Royal Visor. The Royal Visor features a translation system, a local database for hundreds of human languages, many of which are now thought extinct after the coming war. Cool. Uh, I, I dig the purple. We'll, once again, we'll take a look at all these after. The Brutalist, Subtlety is a dirty word, and number 10. So we have a full art, a number set now, that's good I guess. You know, I personally don't know anyone who would ever use those number emblems, whatever. Alright, so last thing up from Silver Packs, Azure Dream, and 1500 rec points. Get cozy with their fire team and dominate war game. You had to bring war games in there, didn't you? You had to bring war games in there. All right, whatever. <sighs> All right. Gold pack. Let's go. Let's get those mythic armors. I assume they're mythic, but I could be wrong. SM. Really? I thought you were supposed to get whatever. SMG with star marker. Cool. And noble team to the last breath. Thank you for that. I actually don't have any Noble Team skins until now. You know, I just noticed that they're they're putting boosts here, and instead of at the end, that's that, I like that. That's nice. Oh, get hype! Look at that. Full set of wrath, anti dot. Let's go! Boom, boom, boom. Formerly an upgrade of existing Mark V EVA suits, the Wrath project was actually covered to develop a new Mjolnir variant specifically tailored to the needs of future Headhunter teams. That looks dank. Along with this, the Spartan branch contract for Wrath helmets was extremely precise and prescriptive regarding the pattern and method for production for the Death Head engraving. 
It looks dank, man. It looks so cool. Like, seriously. Oh, you scorpion, thank you. But we gotta take a look at that. Oh, yeah. Different visor for traps. Um, actually, you don't see the visor that well. I don't think it's that big of a deal, though. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. Uh, the colors and the armor needs to change, though. What were his colors, huh? Okay, I know there was hints of red. Okay, we'll leave it like that. I don't know why that's the color that changes, but whatever. And, you know, we can't rock that. That's not right. We gotta rock that shotgun. Yeah. Gotta rock that shotgun, because we are a meal now. And look at that. Meals are guards. Oh, hold on a second. That's not right. That ain't right? What is that? A gray anti-dot? What, is she getting old? Nah. Look, there we go. There we go, anti-dot. Look at that. It's animated, too. That is dank. I have a silver pack. I bought a silver pack at one point. Oh, that's that's the uncompleted purchase I got. All right, well we got a bunch of points back, I guess. Thank you three for three. I hope that's what they do now. Is that if it, it gives up an error or something like that, and it says you can complete and purchase something, it just puts it in here. I hope they do that from now on. I've heard there are variants of these armors as well. So we have the Noble Team skin for the Magnum. Plans can change, always have a backup. And Helping Hands. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm not helping you, I'm killing you. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cross it. Alright, so we have the DMR with the threat marker, okay. An intruder. So this this is Cat's armor. Uh, intruder armor was commissioned by Spartan Branch as part of a research initiative seeking to leverage synergistic outcomes between specialized Mueller suits. Very cool. I'm surprised it's ultra rare. I thought it would be legendary, huh? Oh, yeah. Still mythic. Man, the rack system is broken. Oh my god. Blue team! Oli Oli Oxen Free! And Indomitable. This is George's armor. Created to save lives, not to take them. The Indomitable is an engineering and explosive ordnance disposal Mjolnir variant. Its combat effectiveness is simply fortuitous. I don't know if I said that right, but whatever. Oh, I got an Oath Sword and a Norfang in one pack. Let's go. That's dank. And, and we got the blue team for the assault rifle. Wow. That is like. That's fate right there. That's fate. Are we really going to. Okay. George's Chain Gun Certification. And look at that, we have his helmet too. And and the Emil um, emblem. That's, that's cool. I will equip that. But first, remember Reach. Mythic Chain Gun with high capacity, magazine loaded with high explosive ammunition. George's Chain Gun also boosts movement speed and damage resistance. You cannot perform Spartan abilities while using this weapon. Well, duh, it's a fucking chain gun. Still, that looks sick though. 
The Indomitable Helmet is a rare set on the battlefield and is usually a sign of the UNSC has authorized weapons of mass destruction. Very cool. First I want to check out that emblem though. Are those the right colors for it? I don't think that's the right colors for it. Let's go change those. There we go. That looks dank. Intruder helmets. The intruder helmet features a full featured command network module and high and yeah, multi-channel drone controller. The drone controller interfaces directly with unified ground command, Unicom, kill box management, and aerospace deconfliction systems. Yeah, too bad there's no drones in Halo. The full extent and the vigilance, surveillance, and stealth capabilities remains highly classified. Observers have speculated the suit includes a new reconnaissance and fire control system for directing orbital artillery strikes. Okay, cool. More stuff that you'll never actually see in the game. <laughs> All right, we got the Vengeance Stance. It's been a long time coming indeed. And the Vigilant Armor. The Vigilant was originally a one-off upgrade for an unnamed VIP within Spartan Branch. <coughs> cough, cough, June. Not intended for production, interest in the suit's feature set among Spartan Scout snipers has led to several being assembled for full evaluation. We also have the George Emblem. Cool. SO52. We're reaching the end of these rec packs. Like, what we can get out of them anyway. Phaeton Helio certification. And 3,000 rec points. There you go. So, that's pretty much everything. The reason why I didn't get all the skins was because I already got them in the Spurns Armory uh, rec pack video. I will buy one more just to be sure. Yeah, it's futile at this point. So, there we go. That's everything. Now let's take a look at everything, shall we? So, first up... Actually, I'll just do it this way. It'll be a lot easier. Uh, right. Which one was it? Ah, yes. Intruder. Puts aerosol to shame now. Even though that's technically what it was called before. Okay, so colors for this. It's a light blue of some sort. I don't know which one though. I think it's that one. That looks about right. And what's this? Just pointless details that no one's going to care about. Whatever, I'll make it silk, why not? Uh, right. Female, of course. Change that emblem, because why the hell not? And different stance. You know, cat's gotta have that magnum. Why are you loading? Oh! Brutalist. Subtlety is a dirty word. Yep. I like that. I mean, I'm not a big fan of stance, but I like it anyways. Which one should we go for? This one or this one? No, I think this one fits her better. All right. Oh, is there a special advisor we should use? I think that's the one that would fit the best, but I'm not sure if it looked the best. Cat's visor was white though, so all right, there we go. There's a vigilant armor set. There we go. Yeah, that's the June I know right there. One more look at him.
Now, what's unfortunate is that that's not his actual colors, because I do remember there were hints of red on his armor as well. No, wait, hold on a second. Didn't he have green on him as well? Or something. I know he had something. Whatever, let's just put him in my colors, the one that I would use oh, oh, in the battlefield. Yep, that's what I would do. That looks pretty damn good. Can't forget his emblem, too. Emblem colors do not go well with the armor, but I don't mind that. <clears throat> Alright, so let's take a look at these weapon skins. So, first we have Azure Dream. By the way, do they have a. Do they have new descriptions for all these now? Nope, just Azure Dream. Okay, well, there it is. I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, I'll, I'd take that over Blue Steel any day. Here it is for the Battle Rifle. DMR. Azure Why am I even doing this? I can just do that. There we go. That, that, that's a nice looking Magnum. Reminds me of a milk company or something. <laughs> um, that's not all we got, though. We got blue team I think that looks pretty fashionable then we have noble team no where is it where is it no that's blue steel where's noble oh it's all the way over here Fuck. no is it yeah no it's right here I'm lost wow Wait, no, I'm equipping Noble Team. Why am I so retarded in the head today? Oh, it's hidden down here, that's why. Uh, that's that's good that's good uh, design idea, so you're perfect, you know. I like that look a lot. I think I'm gonna rock that for a while. Uh what else are we gonna check out? I don't think there's anything else. Once again, I will have videos um, on the new stuff. Uh, well, the new Rex that came out anyway. <clears throat> Hopefully, uh, it doesn't go in. It doesn't end well. No, hopefully it ends well because I'm absolutely terrible at this game. But there were only two Rex. There's only a there's only a plasma rifle and the Fatal Helios. But infection dropped as well, so I will be doing that. I always liked Infection back in Reach, so we'll see how it is in this game. Ah, satisfying, isn't it? Well, as always, this is Dre, the Flame Deity, out.